Hey, welcome back or welcome to everybody. If this is your first time here today, we are breaking from the norms, breaking from the conventions of the raw denim community. And how are we doing that? You're probably saying right now, what's this guy going to do? Well, I'm going to do the unthinkable uh, to so many people out there. And I'm going to soak a pair of 15 ounce naked and famous Japanese salvage denim uh, that I showed in that other video I posted. Uh, I'm going to soak them before I wear them. I'm going to put them in a tub of water. I'm going to have them inside out. Uh, we're going to soak them for about 45 minutes. Then what I'll do is hang dry. Uh, you see me do it in other videos. I'll put that up there. Uh, up there. And then I'm going to hang dry them. And when they're close to dry, I'm going to put the cuffs in. I'm going to put the jeans on, wear them around for the duration until they dry. And then we'll see how they fit. Uh, honestly, the reason I'm doing this one is because I want to try something different. I want to do a little experimenting and break from the norms, like I said. But two, high contrast fades are dope. High contrast fades look really good. But do I want every pair of moral denim that I own to have really high contrast fades? Or do I want a few pairs that I can just let fade naturally and wear out and kind of let go back to that old school look, right? Where, you know, over time, your jeans just get a little bit distressed, not too crazy. Um, and honestly, I like solid colored dark jeans. So let's see what we're doing here. We're going to take a look at the jeans and we'll fill up the tub. We'll soak them and we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Let's get started. All right, there they are. Uh, let's just get a quick overview of the denim before we toss them in the water, toss them in the drink, whatever you want to call it. All right, there's that nice hem, uh, pre-soak, pre-wash. I'm going to kind of just take a look at this denim here. Nice and dark. This is like really dark. Love it. My favorite. The darker, the better. Uh, that's just me though, all right? Coffee the same way. All right. Uh, and also, let's talk about really quick why I want to soak these first, okay? Uh, those of you in the, in the raw denim world who, who've, rock and, who've been rocking raw denim, there's a lot of starch and a lot of product that come on these jeans um, because they're unwashed, right? So think about that. You got that coming up against your body. They're coming in contact with you for those hundred wears or whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not worried that anything bad will happen. And let's just look at like the, the brand concept here because I think it's really cool. Now, I'm not worried about anything bad happening, but just think like, let's get trying to get some of that starch and maybe some of the chemicals that are on here. Get that off uh, before we actually start wearing these jeans. And I think it might make a difference. So that's also like one of the drivers behind why I wanted to do this. Let's get a look. Man, I love, I love the stitching. Uh, raw denim, man. It's, it's the best. Salvage denim. It's the best. All right, so we got this coming down. All right, take a look. Right, there's my Crocs. All right, and uh, yeah, naked and famous denim. All right, we know this brand. Um, deep indigo, rigid, salvage, 100% cotton. This is made in Canada. Guys, seriously, if you ever need me to move to Canada and do anything, hit me up. Oh man. All right, so here we go. 15 ounce Japanese salvage denim, rigid for rugged wear, made in Canada, naked and famous. Mission statement, brand concept. The patch, one of the best in the biz. All right, so let's go to the tub. Let's fill it up, get these in there. Cold water. Hey, should I push the pause? Yeah. There. Cool. Perfect. Hey, I'm oh. It is, huh? It's still up. Well, we need it like a tiny little cup. Well, I also don't want it in the camera too much. There we go. All right, so it's been 45 minutes. Uh, my alarm just went off. 
Uh, let's take a look here. So uh, I don't know if you can see it, but let's take a look at that water. It's definitely a little discolored. And that's not really blue, is it? It's not really indigo color. It's got like a brown to it. So I'm gonna say that's from the starches and like some of the chemicals that are on here, all right? So let's just take these out. Yeah, look at that. Uh, look at that discoloration. So we'll toss those out into a second. Um, so yeah, definitely a lot of stuff came off of these. As you could, as you saw before, I, I have not worn these, all right? These have not been on my body. This is the outcome uh, from soaking them before I wear them. So what I'm gonna do now is get them hung up. I'll show you guys what I do with that. And we'll get them hung up and we'll let them dry, put them on right before they're uh, completely dry and I'll kind of uh, get them to form to my body. So let's get, that, uh, let's get to the next step. Right, so as you see here, same process as every other time, all right? You've seen the other videos. Again, I'll, I'll post those things up there. You can click on them. Land it flat, and just rolling it up to get out all the excess water. Show you that. Okay, as you can see, there they are. That's the same pair of denim that I took the tags off and threw in there. Uh, one thing I always like to point out, I like to keep it nice and crease free. Um, you might say that's a crease, that's not a crease really, that's just, that's just a little fold. That'll be fine because it's not uh, right here. But what I like to do, and I don't know if anyone else does this, not really if you're too worried, keep it crease free. So you see we got another crease like right here. I like to get, get that out so that this dries just nice and flat and like, uh, well, without any pre-distressing. All right, so we'll get that out of there. And we'll just let these hang here for a few hours, like I said, and then I'll put them on and I'll let them dry naturally. Let's also look at that water, okay? Not worn these at all. And that is what came off of the raw denim, all right? So think of that, like, you know, up to you whatever you want to do, but that's that's what came off before I washed it. So let's let these dry. We'll see how they fit, and we'll go from there. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see them and and that dirty water. All right, stick around. All right, all right. Welcome back, everyone. So here they are after being soaked for 45 minutes, almost completely dried, and then I wore them last night for uh, let me think. About an hour and a half, I watched uh, three episodes of this Action Bronson show on, I think it was on like Food Network. I'll post the name here in the description because I don't think you're allowed to curse uh, on YouTube. Anyway, let's check them out, all right? So I put these on, man. They were still super stiff. Um, it's kind of hard to convey how rigid they are in a video. So let's just kind of, let's just take a look here. Overall, uh, not much discoloration, right? I, I haven't worn these, so... You know, I'm just gonna kind of look up and down the denim like I did earlier. Uh, maybe my editing skills will be such this time that I can show you like the before and after next to each other. But let's just look. I mean, they don't look much different. These were super comfortable. I am not gonna lie, man. The quality of these, I didn't think I'd notice a difference. I just thought raw denim was raw denim. But man, I put these on, even being a little damp, Last night, they were, I can't wait to wear these to the grocery store today because that's what I'm doing after this. Um, actually, I'm going to watch the Eagles game wearing these. All right, the patch still looks the same, I think. It's uh, uh, awesome, awesome patch. And, uh, you know, stitching looks great. I'll just kind of go around here. You know, the dog hair. Nice added touch. And we're gonna look here. 
at the chain stitch in just a moment to see if that roping effect changed at all. So there we go. Overall, we're going to kind of zoom out a little bit. Take a look here. All right, and then let's look at the uh, that chain stitch. Definitely looks tighter uh, than when I showed it in the other video, all right? Um, definitely looks tighter. And maybe I can put a sample of that here. We'll look at how it used to look. All right, so that's how that looks now. Then let's go to how it used to look. Naked and famous Union Special Chain Stitch Hem done by Luke over at Franklin and Poe. All right, this is gonna look even better once I soak these things. All right, so you could definitely see the difference, okay? This is definitely the chain stitch tightened up. And again, it's just you see it when you cuff it. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna put these on and show you how they fit because I think they fit exceptionally well. And then I'll kind of just give you a rundown of what I think about them and probably check in next time I, I clean them up. So let's get going. All right, so here we are. I put the jeans on. Uh, we'll recap again real quick, even though I did this a moment ago, just in case you skip forward to this part. Uh, I soaked these for 45 minutes, hang dried them for about three or four hours or so, and then put them on for about an hour and a half last night and just wore them around the house. I did that while I was standing. I didn't sit down so that the knees wouldn't be all blown out and I get any misshapen denim. It made a huge difference when I put these on today. Um, they were really hard to get on last night. I think mainly because they were damp and they were shrinking, but now these fit my hips perfect. Um, coming down the legs, they're real clean looking right here. Uh, nothing kind of puffing out in the stitching, anything strange like that. Uh, really clean, nice fit. Uh, they feel amazing. I've never worn a pair of Naked and Famous before, but I am really impressed with these. So. We'll spin around, just kind of see how they look. This is the weird guy fit. Uh, that's what these are called, which is kind of like, I want to say a slim, slim taper. Um, yeah, and still really stiff, did not lose much stiffness. Uh, still have a lot of indigo to them. As you can see, these are super dark, probably the darkest pair of denim I currently own or have ever owned. Um, 15 ounce, these are the 15 ounce Japanese Salvage and the Deep Indigo. I got these at Tate and Yoko on sale. These are awesome. A really cool story, you should check them out. Uh, overall, really impressed. These have become my new favorite pair of jeans and will probably get worn every day for, I can't even tell you how long. So we'll do a check-in in a little bit. I still haven't determined uh, how often I'll wash these. I'm not sure what direction we're going there. But again, zero wears, first soak. I'll probably do this again. I think it's a great idea. I got all the chemicals off and I'm talking too much. So we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, if this video helped, think about hitting that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing more denim in the future and a ton of other things. So thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.